Okay, now removing unwanted objects or people is um, pretty straightforward. Um, it's just gonna the, the amount of time you're gonna be doing this uh, really depends on the complexity of the photo. But the one tool you're gonna be using the whole time is a stone uh, stamp tool. So that's the one we're gonna be viewing right now. Um, if we go to the to this photo here, this isn't a terribly complex photo, but uh, if we wanted to remove her and this guy from the photo here in the background. Um, it shows you the principle of, uh, of of what it is we need to do. Um, obviously, the only uh, things to watch out for in this case is that um, obviously the sea is pretty easy because of the uniformity of you know the the randomness of the waves and so forth. But still, there's uh, there's a distinct um, difference between what's happening here to what's happening here to the splashes here. So it's not like you can just clone from anywhere. You just gotta pay attention a little bit. And obviously, I'm gonna show you how to uh, properly clone him out and separate the hair here. So first thing we need to do, create a new layer and um, with the stamp tool here selected make sure that you're sampling all layers. I like doing this because what we're going to be doing is we're going to be uh, cloning bits here and adding them here but where we're adding it to is not adding it to the photo itself but we're adding it to this layer here. If we make any mistakes it's just a matter of just deleting this layer or parts of the layer and um, our original photo stays intact. So that's the way I like to work. And the first thing we need to do is just clone him out, the easiest bits first, usually. And all you need to do to make it seem realistic is just to do multiple sample places. Don't just sample from one area and stick to it. Just do it from one and then do it from another. And make sure that you're sort of, in this area, you're, just, you're sort of just staying um, horizontal to, to, to him so that you're getting the same sort of patterns that are happening here and here to this girl over here. So... We're staying roughly to how the sea is behaving at the dif different depths. And the trick is really just always constantly resampling. That's all that is. The best l outlook, the best results are going to be from uh, resampling constantly. Make sure to get all your edges. And remove all that uh, reflection there. Okay, that's pretty good. The hardest part here, really, of all of this is just uh, separating the hair. And this is how we're going to do it. Um, first of all, we need to select her hair. I like using the quick selecting selection tool here. It doesn't have to be terribly precise at the moment, so we just want a general thing. And uh, I think we're getting a bit too general here, actually. But uh, in any case, we just want to make sure that we're not we just want to block out her and um, and leave out essentially just him here. So uh, we just need to zoom in a little bit. Uh, we want to go to Quick Mask Tool. Double click here. Make sure you're on selected areas. And uh, so making sure that we're just blocking out just her hair and uh, a bit of her arm here. So um, with the white selected, make sure you've got 100% opacity. Um, just make sure you're just masking her hair and so forth. If there are any strands and so forth then just um, it's better to just take them out actually. There we are. Sometimes it's easier to see by just um, unblocking the area and then just going back in here and blocking it yourself again so you can see exactly where that hair ends. Okay, that looks that looks pretty good. And now what we need to do is just to block him out. So let's uh, let's ex exit the quick mask. Now we've selected the hair, and we want to paint outside of here. So what we need to do is just inverse the selection first. So inverse. Now we're painting everything but here, right? So if you're not understanding, you'll understand right now because what we're doing is just cloning. And see how that works? We're just cloning inside of here and not inside of her hair so again just constantly resampling there we are we deselect and uh, I think the only little mistake we've got here is just the central central bit here which we can do with a very small clone tool and just carefully Pulling out these little details. Uh, 
And then if you want, if you don't want the hair to have such a, a harsh edge as it has here, as opposed to here, just use an opacity of um, thirty percent, for example, and then just go over the edges just a bit, clicking and clicking, and you start seeing that it starts fading away a little bit, and you don't get the harsh edges. So that's for optimum quality. That's that's the, my tip for you right there. Okay. Seems like we've successfully removed everyone else from the photo. Let's have a look. All right, we only have one problem. <laughs> Actually, right here, I just noticed. Look at that. And this is the advantage of uh, of uh, of using this layers that um, a separate layers that we can zoom into the problem area here. And chances are it's all the problem right there. And just delete it. Compare. There we have it. Person removed. 